Good day, friends. It is me, H.L. Modtech. And guess who got to school and then found out we had a snow day? Yeah, it was me. But that gives me a little bit of time to play with the laser. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So today we're going to take one of my former lessons where I created a wooden round to it so that you could give it to somebody so they could always get around to it. And I built that in Inkscape using the curve above and the curved under text skill. And now I'm going to bring that into Lightburn. And now I'm going to import that into Lightburn. And then I'm going to test my settings so I can get the engraved just the way I want on my little piece of wood. Alrighty friends, so this is the piece of wood I'm going to work with. Uh, I have a friend that cut these out with a chainsaw, so they are really irregular. So it means I'm going to have to adjust this every time I do it. Remember, we have this crank that we can manually lower it down with. And then we want to take that small piece of plastic and when we put this underneath, it helps us find the right focal length. Or really really close. I'm gonna move this in a few millimeters. I'm not gonna hold it down because I think it's heavy enough to hold itself down. And now let's move to Lightburn to mark it all up. Of course step one is to launch Lightburn. When it launches remember I'm gonna import this is a project I created a while ago. In the search I'm gonna type round press enter and wait just a moment for it to appear. And then let's click open and bring it into Lightburn. I know my piece of wood is smaller than the number of millimeters that I've got up here on the top. So I am going to hold down shift and shrink this to a size that I think is going to be way more effective. The nice thing about holding shift is it scales in the same amount in every direction. Now when you grab it, make sure you grab an edge and get it close to the location where you think your piece of wood is. Instead of the pink setting, I want to switch to the orange setting. I'm going to keep the speed of 100 and I'm going to stick with the power of 20 and 20 and then I'm going to change it to fill plus line. I am using guess and check to figure out these numbers. I'm actually going to switch these to 30 and see just how they work out. Let's hit frame and see how close I guessed. All right, so I was way low. After several minutes and attempts at trial and error, I got it right, but I'm gonna speed it up so we can get right to where it cuts. If I were ever doing this for real, I would totally have a jig so that I wasn't doing this little guess and check dance. We're good now though, so let's hit start. Alright friends, let's open it up and see what we made. With my end cut off a tree, we have now got a round to it. You can see that I went in about three millimeters with that cut, which I think is pretty darn sweet and is a pretty fun gift to give away. Alright friends, I'm going to put something on the back. I don't want to keep this one, so I'm going to put file new. It asked me do I want to save and I'm going to tell it no. So that was done in Inkscape. Let's do it in Lightburn by holding shift and making a circle to put some words around. So with the text tool, I am going to quickly type live, love, laugh, which I think are important things, but sometimes you skip them and this will be a reminder to get around to it. Let's zip up here to the font choices. I'm gonna pick something a little different. I'm gonna go with Arial Black just cause it's a little bit larger. Let's zoom out quickly and make sure we've got everything selected. And then let's navigate to the tools option and find the apply text to path. Hard to get much more easy than that. 
I'm gonna zoom in quick, grab it all, and use the rotation handle to spin the letters so that I've got live starting right where I want it. I've got love almost at the bottom, and then watch this. If we hold down shift and shrink it, we can get it so those letters line up exactly where we want, so it still follows the path, which is super cool. I'm gonna do one last rotate so that love is at the very bottom. And then we need to right click on the outside edge of one of these letters and convert it to a path. Now we can select the inside circle and hit delete to get rid of it. I'm gonna quickly select this all, hold down shift and shrink it just a little bit so I think it's gonna fit on my piece of wood. All right, so I've got the wood back in there. I'm gonna hit frame. After about 10 trials, I got it lined up, but let's speed it up so you don't have to watch that. I'm going to back the power down to 20, and let's see what effect that has. So we're just exploring, and boom! Let's add words to our round to it. And when we're done, friends, we've got a live, love, laugh get around to it token, which is just kind of fun and it'll let us practice our settings on wood that if you've got a friend with a chainsaw can be free. And when you're practicing guess and check to get your resources, that's the best way to learn. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Montech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.